Hi everyone, I just wanted to make a short video in order to explain how I succeed to install a Wacom a graphical tablets on my uh, Linux, on my Ubuntu. So basically, actually, I bought this uh, tablet that you can uh, see here. So this is the CTL4100KS in order actually to just design some logos uh, for my Ubuntu. And uh, actually, I bought this Wacom because it has the reputation of being uh, Linux supported. So that's why I decided to go for this specific brand of tablets. Um, and also as well that this is the cheapest that I could find on Amazon.fr and um, as well as there was no other uh, Wacom at that time when I uh, performed some searches. Um, however, what I didn't know is when I received it, so that's, that's the one, uh, when I received it, uh, I didn't succeed actually to install it uh, straight away. I look at the documentation on uh, Wiki Ubuntu and actually the CTL411 wasn't listed here. So uh, what I did directly, I went on the official documentation of uh, the Wacom driver and um, reached on the following page, which is saying actually that they are not uh, somehow supporting any Linux driver anymore. So um, yeah, I was a bit scared. And then actually I tried to follow some uh, tutorials and I reached actually uh, the official website, which is this one. And I, I'm not really a developer, at least I do not have much time of reading a lot of documentation, trying things, right, to understand uh, what's going on. Actually, uh, I got a bit lost. Uh, then after I went on the GitHub depository and found out that there were something like four different folders. And I, I mean, I was totally lost. I tried to install it uh, just by picking up one of those and I did not uh, succeed to make it. And then I uh, went on this page. I tried to do a couple of things, it did not work out, and I decided to give up. Then some months after that, I decided to dig back uh, into the configuration of uh, the tablet in itself. And I just wanted to make you like a small return on of experience because I finally figured out how to install uh, this tablet. So basically, when you are reading this blog post here, uh, you will end actually on this page. And this is the one who finally helped me install it. I'm not going to say that it's properly installed, but at least it's working out. So uh, this is what I did. So I executed actually this uh, line. Then I made the update and I made as well the DST uh, distribution upgrade. Uh, actually, uh, I think that most of us uh, will not have actually to uh, execute this line because this is uh, for Bamboo and for newer tablet, which is possibly not the one that you have uh, within your uh, within your hands. And then actually, once I did that, I went on the Linux uh, Wacom project. So that's the one. <clears throat> that's where you need to download it. Then you will reach actually this page. And when you are here, what you need to do is just to click here then when you will be here you will have actually to click on um so yeah let me see no that's not the one i downloaded um i rather prefer to drive you through exactly the same process that i followed so i went here and then from here was it the library input Wacom? So I'm just going to click on this one. Uh, GitHub. Okay, great. This is what I did. So uh, I execute this line and then I executed this line. Okay, those two because I'm using Ubuntu. Then I download the following uh, package that you can find here. And I Take this one out, okay? Input Wacom 0.4, then once downloaded, okay? I unzip it, okay? That's a zip, so uh, I unzipped it. And this is exactly actually what they are uh, describing. Uh, um, not here, but anyway, this is something they are describing at some point. And so, 
Once it was uh, unzipped, I just need through the console to access to this directory and then uh, to execute, let me see what I did. Yeah, to execute uh, this line and this line actually, uh, it's telling you if this is this line, okay? And normally this line should tell you build failed uh, if the driver have not been properly installed. In my case, actually, it works straight away by executing this line of code, whoops, this line of code within the directory of uh, the place where I unzipped it, it installed the driver straight away. Then after that, I didn't need actually to just type uh, Wacom here within my, uh, actually, I could try, but yeah, in any case, it's not going to work, right? So. Um, I didn't need actually to do that and to configure my uh, my tablets. I just needed to uh, to take it out and just plug it in the the USB cable. Yep. Okay. And now I need to find back the pen. Where is the pen? Um. <clears throat> sorry. Feel like I lost part of my tablet. Anyway, I'm going to find it back uh, later on. So this is my uh, my tablet. And as you can see, whoops. So now it's it's on. But yeah, OK, I find out my pen, right? So this is the pen. And now if, as you can see, I move uh, the pen, then it's working out straight away. So I don't have to go on a specific administration panel, configure stuff. Just by executing the last line that I show you within your terminal, it installed the, the driver straight away. Even if uh, the number, uh, the identifier of my tablet is not listed uh, within the documentation of the driver that I was looking at at the beginning of the video. Uh, it seems that actually the developer made a great job in supporting um, the tablets uh, of Wacom that uh, you are currently uh, buying uh, on Amazon. So that's, uh, that's a good stuff. I'm really sorry that Actually, I can give you more information because I'm not really a techie guy, so I don't really know uh, what I'm doing when I'm trying uh, to install actually uh, those driver. But just to let you know that those different steps that I show you, I the one that actually I followed in order to install this this tablet. Hope it will work for you, and hope it will uh, help you save uh, the money you invested in in this tablet. Thank you for watching.